Hey guys, welcome back, fellow Mahmoud. It's Sega 262, and today I'm making my hit video on the Lord of Plagues. And so I know today I said I was going to be covering the fatty tissue, a little bit more on the sores, and touching up the skin details and all of that. But as you can see here, and this is why lighting is so important, I made him a little bit too warm colored for my liking, and the wash is a little dark. And so today, on top of that other stuff, what I'm going to be doing is just lightening up everything again. Not doing a dry brush, more like a highlight inside the recesses and on the outside to keep it still warm in color, but not as strong. And so the first thing I'm going to do is tone down that wash. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to mix some of Citadel's white ceramic base paint with a little bit of pink, just a tiny bit. And I'm mixing it in my palette. I know my palette's off screen right now. And then with some water, I'm just gonna make it a really thin layer, almost like a glaze, and just try to go in. Here, just like that. You can see how bright it is. And now what I'm going to do is lots of water and then lots of wiping it off. Here, just to tone down everything in there. We don't want it to look like there is no shadow there, we just want it to be a little bit brighter. So it'll look like that. And what we're going to do is target parts of his arm, like you see that red blotch right there, right under the armor plate. And little ridges around the wounds do kind and brighten things up. Also, what I forgot to do the other day, because I'm still painting, technically still painting the uh, sores, is that each one of these will have to be rimmed with a purple color I'm making. Let me see if I can pull this in front of the camera. So you can see that white. Oh. There's a lot of. Switching things up like this here, turning that down, and then like that big red patch on the arm, coming in with that and just just touching it up because we don't want to lose that shade. We don't want to lose the color modulation that we just don't want it to be so obvious. Yeah, pretty much just like that, just touching it up just here and there. And now what I'm going to do is tackle the fatty tissues areas. Again with the yellow paint, toning it down a little bit with water just to keep it thin that's gonna be that was the name of the game when I started this miniature that's pretty much how we're gonna do it it's just very thin coats of things almost like we're painting this whole figure in ink just like And you'll see that once 
I get all the skin and all the painted details done are post effects, which will be Nurgle's Rot and some Streaking Grime, which is for armor vehicles, but I'll be using it here as well, will come into effect. Okay, and just like that, we have a nice yellow on all the fatty parts. And then all the stores are going to not only get a wash of some sort, but we're also going to put some blood for the blood god inside the sores after we get that nice bruise layer. And the way we're going to do the bruise layers, we're going to mix pink and blue together to make a nice purple kind of fleshy tone just to do the rims of some of this stuff, which will be a little bit tricky and we want it to blend nicely. So it's going to be more on the pink side, so a very warm purple, almost like the magenta color we've already mixed, but a little bit more red. I don't actually have any oils with me to do this process because this is again just the base painting, base coating process, but in theory this would be a good place to administer oils. Um, it's not really right where I would go with the oils this early on. I usually use this just for weathering, but I think having a really thin, nice purple layer, which is how I do my pox walkers, would help out here, but we'll see. And for the red mixture, the other day I used just normal Vallejo red. Today I'm going to be using, along with the pink, the Vallejo Mecca color line SZ Red, which is an incredibly bright color made for robots. That's going to just go in there. It's about one part electric blue, one part SC red, and one part, or two parts pink. It's right there. All right, I'm gonna add just another drop of red because I want it to be a little bit brighter and I'll show you what the color looks like. There's that purple that we're gonna use for the bruising of his wounds. this. Let me see if I can get it in the camera there. It is just like an edge highlight almost. Just coming off the toothpick. We're just going to apply this around all the edges of the open wounds. And then we will be doing to kind of help the transition between these two. I'll put too much up there. We will be applying a rust red wash to these areas as well.
Okay, let me see if I can get, yeah. Sorry about that, that most of that was off camera. So this is kind of a bigger ring. I'm gonna to tone that down. But this, these rings here that you know, see how everything's becoming a little bit more purple. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of the sores all over this Lord of Plagues figure. This is actually incredibly hard to do on camera, so I apologize. But this is where the video is going to end. So next video that's going to pick up, all this will be done. And you're going to see how the boils and everything look finally. And then I'm going to apply the final stages of weathering and then armor. So I'm going to touch up everything today off camera. So that way I can go straight into the armor video next. So as always, please throw up a like if you enjoyed it. It goes a long way to supporting the channel and letting me know that this is something that you're interested in. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of the series on the Lord of Plays or if you want to get notified when I upload the armor video, which should be either tomorrow or in the next few days. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hey guys, it's Yager262 and adding this to the end of the video. This is what you won't see probably a lot of people who paint Nurgle use, which is the Blood for the Blood God technical paint, what everything looks like done. That is because Nurgle's maggot kin, which is what this Lord of Plagues is supposed to be, are supposed to be decaying and already dead. But like I told you, I kind of wanted a more fresh appearance him, so I added blood into almost every single wound in the intestines and so like I said when I first started this series is it's basically fake blood and so it'll look glossy and red like that and congealed in some places hopefully forever and this is the finished product on the skin I'm going to touch up some places like you see that little if I can catch it this here I'm going to touch up and then just add some highlights, but this is basically it. This is what the sores in the intestine will look like. And so tomorrow I will be doing my armor or the armor on the Lord of Plagues and that video. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It looks like he's, you know, freshly dead. So we'll see how the rest of it looks all together. But yeah, thank you so much for watching.